Welcome back, my amazing third grade artists. Our next project is an owl collage, and this is part one. Our learning goal for this project is a mixed media, and a mixed media is when we produce a work of art through mixed media or fiber that utilize multiple processes. Our learning targets for this project are, I can use texture in my art, and I can use mixed media to create a collage. The materials you'll need for today are a piece of white paper, a pencil, a sharpie, and something to add color. You can use paint, crayons, markers, or colored pencils. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. All right, boys and girls, now we're ready to get started on part one of our owl collage, and today we are going to start the drawing part of our owl. So I want you to get a white piece of paper, and you're going to set it up vertical, which is a long way up and down and make sure that you have a pencil ready and a Sharpie to trace when you're finished. All right, let's get started. Step one, we are going to draw the body of the owl and it is going to be a big U shape and we wanna put it towards the center of the area of our paper. So you're gonna go down, around, and up and make sure that you leave some space on the top, on the bottom, and on the sides. Now you're gonna draw a line straight across the top to finish off the body of the owl. Next, we're gonna draw the wings, and the wings are a curved line that are gonna start on the owl, and they go out, around, and down. On the other side, out, around, and down. Next, we're going to add the ears to our owl, and it's going to be two curved lines, one curved line, and a curved line underneath to create the ear. Put one on both sides. The next step is we're going to add the two eyes in the center area of our owl. So it's going to be at the top part of the body in the center area, and we're gonna make two large circles. One circle, and two circles. Our next step, we're going to add the beak to our owl, and it is going to be an upside down triangle, and it's gonna go right underneath the two eyes. Our next step, we're gonna section off the belly of the owl by creating two little lines that are going to connect the beak to the wing on both sides. Next, we're going to make the feathers of the owl by using scalloped lines on the belly part of our owl. So start on one side and you're gonna create those scalloped lines the whole way across the belly. Our next step, we're going to add the feet of our owl and it's going to be a curved line out and then it's gonna curve back and down, back, down, and back to connect to the body. On the same on the other side, curve line out, and back, and down, and back, down, and back. Our next step, we're gonna start adding some details to our owl. First, we're gonna create two more circles on the center part of the owl's eyes. And you can go ahead and fill them in or you can wait until you're tracing with Sharpie and fill them in with a Sharpie. Next, we're gonna add some curved lines to the sides of the wing, and we're gonna curve them, and they're in the same direction as we initially drew the wing to the owl. And the last thing I want you to do is add a branch going straight across your paper. And remember to stop when you get to the drawing and then pretend or imagine the line is going through your owl, but we don't want it to actually go through the owl. We want it to look as if our owl is sitting on a branch. And that is the end of part one of our owl drawing. And next we're going to add some color. Don't forget to put your project somewhere safe or in your art box until next week. See you next time. Have a great week.